What's up guys? If you didn't catch part one of this series, we went over how to import this car model and apply custom shaders and textures to materials. In this tutorial, we're going to be grabbing some free green screen footage of a dog, keying it out in DaVinci Resolve and putting him behind the driver's seat in Unreal Engine. If you're into doing VFX in Unreal Engine and learning more about it, go ahead and hit subscribe. I'll be doing more of this stuff each week. In part three, we're gonna be doing more animation stuff. In part four, we're gonna be doing more rendering stuff. So let's just jump right into part two here. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is download our footage of the dog. This is a free green screen footage from Anna Chavetz. Check the link for the description. The reason I chose this footage is because the dog is eye level with the camera. Once you have that, you wanna open up DaVinci Resolve and find your footage you downloaded. Just drag it in. Okay. First thing you'll notice is this footage is uh, shot in portrait mode. We're going to create a new timeline that is in a different uh, resolution. You want to set it as 2160 by 3840, 24 FPS. 3840, 24 frames a second, create. There we go, that looks better. All right, so now we're going to key out all this green stuff. So let's go to color. This first node here, we're gonna search for 3D and 3D keyer will pop up. Drag that onto the first node. Grab this picker tool here and zoom out with your mouse. And then you just wanna left click and drag till everything turns black. It's set for the dog. Everything around the dog that's green, we want it to be black. Okay, so now if we zoom in with the mouse wheel, we can see around his ears is a little green, so we'll go down to matte finesse. You can clean the blacks a little bit, not too much, because it gets blurry. Usually about five or no more than 10. In the in and out ratio, we're gonna pull that down until we get rid of those green edges. That's looking much better. You'll see there's still some green spill, so we'll go to despill and we'll crank that up. No more green spill, and everything looks good to me. Next thing you need to do is right click in this area, go to add alpha output. Take this blue dot from the 3D keyer node, drag it into the alpha output. Now, to test your footage, let's bring it up one. We're gonna go to the effects tab and toolbox, search for solid. Grab that solid, put it underneath, drag it out. You have to go over here to the color, click on a color, and hit OK. You want to make sure this image truly is alpha transparent and that everything looks good when you play it back, and it does. Next thing you'll do is disable the solid color. Go to the delivery tab, type in a name, EXR dog, create a folder. EXR dog one, select the folder. Then you wanna change your format to EXR. Your resolution, or I'm sorry, your codec, you wanna to set to RGB half. And your resolution, make sure it's the same as your timeline, 28, 2160 by 3840. Use vertical re resolution. Your frame rate should be 24, and make sure you check export alpha. So now everything is ready to add to the render queue and render it out. Once you've rendered it, you will see all these EXR image sequences. They're pretty much like PNG files, but they're just EXRs. They're 16-bit raw, basically. And now we can go back into Unreal. And this is how you create an EXR image sequence. We're going to go to the content folder, right click, create a new folder. This folder will hold all of our EXRs. And then inside here, we'll create a folder for each EXR image sequence. So this first one's gonna be dog. And then once you're in there, you wanna right click and go to media. Then you wanna choose image media source. Name this, I'm just gonna name it dog at the beginning. Double click on it, go to Sequence Path, make sure you're in the right folder, 
and then make sure you click on the first EXR image in this folder. Go to frame rate override, set it to the frame rate you exported at, 24. This will be the same frame rate you render at. Hit save. Now you're going to right click again, go to media, and select media player. Check the box, video output media texture asset. Add dog to the front of this. you'll notice it created a media texture. This is what we're gonna drag onto a plane here. So we need to create a plane to drag it onto. This is kind of like our screen. I'm gonna rotate that guy 90 degrees. Then we're gonna drag this media texture on here. You'll notice uh, it turns blue, but there's no dog on there. So we need to actually double click on the media player. And then we want to double click on the image source. So you'll see the dog is now there and he is now in the shot. You'll notice it only lasts for seven or eight seconds. You can put it on loop right there and it'll keep playing. Um, we're not worried about this uh, table in the bottom because it is gonna be uh, hidden in the car. Now we need to get the aspect ratio right. He looks a little wide. What we want to do for that is go to the plane, make sure the plane selected, 0.9 by 1.6. And now he looks like a, a little bit better. So let's just drag this in here and take a quick look. See what he looks like in the seat. We can always make it smaller or larger. Alright, so if our camera is going to be in front of the car, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me move them over a little. Yeah, it looks like we have a dog driving the car. How cool is that? The dog's pretty big. We could make it a little smaller, but all right, guys, future me here again. I uh, wanted to point out how to resize the dog properly with a tip that I use all the time. Um, as you can see, I've done quite a bit more work. On this scene I've made it nighttime I've changed the color of the lights to be orange and added some proper lighting to the dog but back to this tip where we want to get the dog at the right aspect ratio right now if you look at the plane you can see I've changed the scale a little bit what you can do typically you're gonna start off at 0.9 by 1.6 or 1.6 by 0.9 um, that gives you the 16 by 9 aspect ratio but to change that, if you open up your calculator, you take the larger number, which is 1.6, and if you wanna bring that down and make it smaller, you'll say like 1.2. So if you do 1.2 times 0.5625 and hit enter, you'll see the other number should be 0.675. So if we change this to 1.2 and this, 0.67 or you could do 68 uh, then the dog keeps the 16 by 9 aspect ratio or in this portrait case 9 by 16 so um, that tip should help you out if you're ever trying to get your aspect ratios right just remember the larger number needs to be times by 0.5625 and then the number that you get will be your smaller number hope that helps all right, in the next video, we're going to create a color correction region around the dog. We're going to create a sequence and we're going to attach the dog to the car so he always stays right there in the seat, even when the car's moving. So stick around, I hope you learned something and we will see you in part three of this four part series.